Hey friends, I got a delivery here. Um, it's it's a T-post puller. So went ahead and opened it. <clears throat> so basically, it's from Speedco. Pull T-posts with e with ease. I can either use the tractor bucket or I can use my um, jack. This one. Handyman Jack. So that's all I'm going to do up there on the pasture today and I'll take you along and uh, we'll see how this thing works. Yep, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm here at the orchard and I'm getting ready to pull the T posts out. The Granny Smith has outgrown the cage and I've removed the cage, but I need to get these T posts out. So I got the, um, the Speco. T-post puller and I'm using it with my farmer's jack, handyman jack. As you see there, the problem is the way these the nubs on the T-post is what it grips on. So uh, let me get in a little closer here. So I have it set up accordingly. But the problem is that the lever on the jack, the jack handle is going to be is right against the tree. So I'm going to have to be very careful when I jack this. But uh, I think we'll be okay. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody. Um, I think that was I think that was successful. They weren't that they weren't that bad. I, I couldn't have pulled them out myself, but with the help of that handyman jack and the puller, you know, it made the job a lot easier. Just remember that, you know, the the jack handle. If you're using a jack, the jack handle you you need to have that area free. So just remember whenever you put in your T posts. Uh, if you're going to use a jack, that area behind the uh, the nubs on the T-post need to be free because I was almost having issues, you know, damaging this tree. So I, I was trying to be as careful as I could, and I think we're good. So this tree now is, uh, you know, getting to be a size where the deer aren't that big of an issue, and it doesn't need a cage anymore. Uh, the other ones here. Uh, this one 
And then of course all the, the very young ones that are around here, we'll keep the cages up till they get to a nice respectable size. So, all right. That, that was a quick video, but I thought I'd let you see how this thing works. I think it works fine for my usage. I have a lot of other T-posts that are still in the ground down by the pond whenever the builder, you know, put the, uh, the fabric for uh, protecting the watershed. There's, there's, there must be 50 T-posts down there. So that's really why I got this puller, because they're in the ground really good. They're not that high, they're only about three feet or four feet, but they're in there pretty darn good. So I'll need that puller and the jack for sure. So Homestead Pilgrim out.